Well, what's up, everybody? Polius here. Uh, let's play some Never Alone. Last time, we were escaping through a destroyed village, and then the bad man came. And what I thought was, you know, me making a mistake turned out to be a whole set cutscene where he killed Fox, who was then reborn as this Fox Man boy spirit. Oh, you can fly now! Freedom! Oh. Oh wow, he's even more powerful than you can possibly imagine. So I can. Oh wow. So that's neat, they introduced the swinging mechanics so that we could have, we could figure out how this works. Oh, okay, the wind is my friend here. Ready? There it goes. That is good game design, right there. And then poor gameplay, at least me playing it poorly, is forgetting that spirits disappear when Fox is gone. All right. Ah! Fox, you need to carry the spirit over this way. Thank you. Still. That that completely caught me off guard. I thought that there was gonna be something else we had to do. I did not expect the bad man to kill or the bandit or whatever his name is to kill Fox right there. Okay, no, stay stay within range of the spirit. Jump up. Box. So you can't go too low to the ground, but you can do this. I guess we're going this way. All oh, right. Oh, that's cheating. No, 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 no. Let's no. well, not. That's basically flying around wherever and then having Nuna platform to us. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no, I need to wait. I need to wait. Can I climb up here? What's this do? Okay, so that warns me. Aha! I figured it out. Alright, there are spirits in these here plants. Aha! I am a helping spirit. Thank you. Can you guide me up? Whee! It's now the power of nature is at my command. Or at least out to help me. As long as you're not the Aurora Borealis, which is just a jerk. Alright. Come along, little spirit. I need to hit you with a bola. Man, Birdman spirit. Oh, I gotta take it this way. Alright. Climb up here. I hope that the Aurora Borealis eats the bad man. Climb up here. It's gonna break. Are there any spirits up here? There's ice. Alright, so that'll let me climb up here. 
And then I can have Fox guide us up to the next one. Where the winds will take me to my destination. Can I just make sure it's broken? Yep. Aha! Come hither, spirit. I need to smack you. With the greatest respect for nature, do I smack thee? Can you jump down here? Oh yeah, that's actually a spirit. Oh. Break that. And guide it along. And then guide this one along. I don't think I can hit Fox. Nope. It's quite a drop. I have lost all sense of where we were starting from. Oh, there's a face on the tree! Look at that! That is so cool! Anyway. Yes, gather before me. Follow me! Oh, this is so cool. It's kind of... Oh, hey! It's back where we were at. What? Was there something up here that I should have gotten? Doesn't look like it. But there, there's kind of a feeling of victory with this. You know, we've, we've transcended the, the obstacle in a way. Or at least the the You know, in the hero's journey, you have the hero's lowest moment. Where they actually do face death. Think like Luke Skywalker when he's uh, fighting Vader. And Vader reveals that he's his father. And then Luke actually jumps, which you expect to his death. That's... You know, considered in in storytelling, the 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 ground, the very bottom of the hero's fortunes, and we just reached that, and now you know we're getting a gift basically from the beyond, in the form of Fox's reincarnation. Oh. That was a short chapter. But I'm gonna keep going. But as I was saying, so you have this gift from the beyond. So now we're moving towards the uh, the rising period of the storytelling where the hero is now going to reach, overcome, surpass the, the difficulty, and then we're going to return to a sense of our village. This, this follows the hero's journey with this gift of the spirits of nature that we've gained, or the lessons we've learned. We'll see how well that follows it. Let's keep going. It's only eight minutes in. Oh, ow. Can I go down here? <laughs> Yes, but not easily. Go, my friend. Aha! Yes. This is what we need. Aha! Snipe. Well, I have... I have awoken the trees. What's down here? So what's down here? Nothing? Not even a little owly friend? Bonk. So I'm curious, like, what this guy will do with the bola. It's not like it's been able to hurt anything natural. In fact, I mean, unless he wants to control spirits, which it doesn't really seem to do unless we reveal spirits and affect spirits. But Fox has always been the one to control them. Do I jump? No. I'm supposed to reveal another spirit. Don't worry, Nuno, you can be reborn to You too can be reborn. These three easy steps. Oh, can I go all the way back here? Alright. 
Come on. There we go. Let's climb on here. And guide the way. Oh, I see. See what we got up here. How about I just bring it closer? Rather than embarrass myself. There is something down there. Walk. It is. Hello, tree beard. You're, you're, oh no, I screwed this up. So, when that happens, I need to. Okay. Roll this down so Nuna can get to it. Ah. Oh, oh. oh man, that was. I thought I'd switch to Fox. Draw this, draw this arm down quickly. Before this helpful spirit helpfully pulls me into the water. And then draw it back up. As high as we can go. And I remember that there was something over here, so we're gonna... There it is. I gotta make a leap of faith, man. When well, that wind is blowing, that means I gotta go. Alright. This is interesting. I, I'm never a fan of leaps of faith like that in video games. Pull it higher. Pull it higher. There we go. Okay. Gotta make the jump. Uh, I'm convinced that's what I gotta do, though. Because... down. Oh, no. Where can I lift that uh, other arm up now? I, I don't even know. I thought I knew what I needed to do. Ah, here we go. Join me, Fox. Thank you, Mr. Tree. Looks like an arm. Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. I'm just really immersed in the game here. This is incredible. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on! It just propelled me. It propelled me straight over. I'll admit, I may have panicked a bit. Stupid. Can I make it to this? Nope, this is gonna completely block my way and kill me. Let me start from checkpoint.
Boxing, you should pull this up. Pull this. The tree is going to trip. There we go. I need that wind, actually. There we go. It's gonna fall. I can just walk over here. Tree's still going. It's one sturdy tree. Oh. In this case, I need to move it up. So I can make the jump, and then do I pull it back down? No. Hello, sir. That is a derpy look you got there. Can I pull it? Back up and go to the left now. Negative. Oh. All right, scout, scout fox. We. Whoa. You are you are breaking, sir. Probably doesn't help that you have a spirit fox person. No, 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 no. Ah! Uh, aha! Probably doesn't help that you have a spirit fox person manipulating your arms and whatnot. I am the puppet master, but who is the puppet? It's really look like hands, though. It's kind of loses the immersion a little bit that I see. They're all the same look. <laughs> what? Alright, can I pull this forward at all? Yeah, ah, uh, okay. Can you pull it up at all? No. Check, you alright? Nobody knows? Good. We need a spirit to come down here. Further. Alright. Okay, so it destroys things made of fire and ice. No, 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 no. Oh, I gotta avoid the flames. Fox, I need you to move that up. Jump. Jump! Epic chase scene. The music is actually perfect for this. It it's not, you know, too deep or whatnot. It's just the right amount of intimidating. I love it. Sir, you are oh. You're having trouble breathing there. Can I break that? Nope. Are you a fireman mage? Because you were summoning fireballs with remarkable ease. I just climb up here. Okay. Oh no. Carry me away. Yeah. 
Ah, thanks. Thanks, sir. So I just climb up in here? Ah. You are a fire wizard. Okay. So. Oh! So he's attacking at me, and I need to dodge with Fox. I get it, until he accidentally frees me. The spirit's just watching, like, what's going on? Pull away, pull away, pull away! I pulled in the wrong direction. Exactly. Alright, so I should be safe here ish. I don't be in arm's reach of him. Oh, he's aiming at me! Wow, that's stupid of me. This is actually really awkward. So I need to say hi. This is... I actually don't like this too much. It's cool, but... The mechanic for Fox controlling the thing is not as smooth as I would like it to be. Like, let's see, I, I can either move quickly or I can maneuver him. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to move quickly and then maneuver him. Behold. See? That's exactly how you do it. Alright, we're hitting a longer episode than normal. Alright, my guess is I need to be close ish. Just how I'm standing, too. Sorry for the quiet. I'm so I'm focusing a bit much here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. What? Oh, haha! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's. Yeah, I know. That was terrible. What do I do? I need him to hit here now? Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh come on! 
That's ridiculous. Can I duck that? Am I just forgetting about my ability to duck? Yes, the answer is yes, I can't do that. Yeah, it's, you're really bad at hitting a, a, a little girl on a tree. Alright, so what, do I need to have him hit this part now? Hit him! <laughs> I bet you can't swim like bear! Wahaha! <laughs> The Manslayer. Is that my title now? Am I the Manslayer? Well, here's what I'm going to do. Since it's running long, I'm going to call it a day episode for this. And if this is, uh, if this is like just going to be an epilogue, I'll post this to the same video. Like that same video, but the same the same time as I upload the other one as this episode. So until then, bully us out.